today we'll be talking about uh, John Wick, chapter 3, my review, my honest review. But make sure firstly, before I talk about it, make sure to smack the like, share and subscribe, we'll be much appreciated. And yeah, let's go! So if you have not um, seen the part, uh, chapter 1 and chapter 2 of my reviews, check it out, it's going to be already uploaded. And yeah, let's go! So John Wick, uh, uh, third, cinema, drug, humor and character are so uh, that's good. If not better than the prediction, so there were times that I even laughed out la out loud. Like one of the parts, which it made me uh, laugh at one of the scenes. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Kenya and Lawrence are still entertainment actors, despite how many films they are appears in. Literally, they are actually uh, here with uh, like. Uh, Kenya and Lawrence, <laughs> and they are all uh, always, and actually perfect acting. They always have their own actions and parenting, or, or characters like or old, or like it's very entertainment to watch. In this film, uh, like the light sets the mood perfectly with colorful rainy settings, dark green room, and dry desert. I never felt the week was recorded behind the camera. I never seen that before in my life, but that's where my phrase ends. So uh, this is only the good thing about uh, chapter three was, and yeah, very little, pl um, very little plot can be found in this entire uh, entry, which is frustrating as a story makes up at least fifty percent of the movie in my book. The dialogue, uh, dialogue was also a step down. John and the high table character felt very robotic at times. The words coming out of their mouth were so off. Literally, when they were talking, it did not make sense at all. I was like, ah, I should have not said that. And it was like a bit off. Yeah, as I said, it was so off and uh, bizarre. And uh, we can't possibly forget about the actions. Action can be good and set the plot in an intense feeling. This hardly does such. I'm afraid when all the action was in chapter 3, it didn't get too much uh, action. It, it was a bit boring, not gonna lie. Uh, sequence lasted much longer than I hope, added with the Deja Vu, Top Assassin's. Since and dogs uh, beating men, being const uh, constant really makes you strum your finger waiting for something substantial to happen. In the end, John uh, Week 3 is the weakest of the trilogy. It has fun with the action genre, humor made me laugh, and the visual were eye candy, but the uh, long action scene and the missing plot drags it down for greatness i'm afraid that's that's my uh, review on chapter three and i'll uh, if i give it up to five i'll give it up three out of five i'm afraid it went good but after that it went so so off and the actions were so boring so this is my review on chapter three of john wick make 